Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to equalize audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, you can go through and equalize voice, music, whatever you need to in Premiere Pro. You can also use my Adobe Premiere Pro audio presets that are available now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. They're available inside a presets bin uh, with different presets for different microphones, fun vocal effects and stuff for any filming situation really, mrc.fm forward slash presets is where to go. But let's focus on EQ or equalization. And you can get this in the effects workspace here by searching, funnily enough, EQ should be enough. And you've got many different ones. Parametric equalizer is what I like to use. Now you can use this in a couple of ways. You can drag and drop parametric equalizer onto an audio track there uh, that you want to EQ. Uh, so that's my speech here on audio track four. Or you can apply it overall to the whole track. So it doesn't matter what clips you put in there, the EQ will be applied across every clip you insert. And you can do this in the audio workspace. And you've got the mixer here, pop down the effects here by popping open this triangle and then look for audio track four. This is where my speech is. Let's play it and have a Videos listen. for sponsors. There you go, audio four. It's people who. Okay, so on audio track four, I'm going to go ahead, look for it here. It's under filter and EQ, parametric equalizer right there. And I'm going to double click. And now I can start to set this up and I'll show you how I would go ahead and do something like this on a voice. Videos for sponsors. People so the first thing I'd always do is add HP, a high pass filter, which is going to roll off any bass that we don't need outside the human voice range. Let's have a listen. People who want to actually get a message. So that's way too much high pass. Let's pull it down. At MRC consists of making videos for sponsors. Okay, around there, around 136 hertz, I'm rolling off any bass frequencies, any rumble, any noise that we just don't need in the audio. Next thing, I'll go ahead and grab the H, pull this up change the shape of it a bit and add some high end to make my voice crisper and clearer. Yeah, at MRC consists of making videos for sponsors. And as you could hear there, as I was moving it up, definitely you hear more clarity, more treble there. Now there's a bit of echo in my room that I'm recording in. This is where I can notch up some frequencies and uh, maybe check the Q width and make that a little smaller like so. Let's make it really tiny and we can scan across the audio and find where those boxy echoey frequencies are and then remove them. Let's play. Well, a lot of my day here at MRC consists of making... So you should hear that as I'm scanning through frequencies, looking for the nasty ones. Cool. A lot of my day here at MRC consists of making videos for sponsors, people who want to actually get a message out right, on my right channel, there. which of course I always uh, subtitle. There we go. That's one nasty frequency gone. Again, point number two, pull it up, increase the Q width and scan cool. around. Cool. A lot of my day here at MRC consists of making videos for sponsors, people who want to actually get a message out on my channel, which of course I always uh, subtitle with a... Right about there. And again, uh, we can just take that and rather than plus 15 dB, we can go uh, minus 6 dB, boom, and that's gone too. <laughs> Really cool. A lot of my day here at MRC consists of making... So that's with the EQ, back to what we've got without EQ. My day here at MRC consists of making videos for... EQ on is removing the bass, increasing the clarity, and removing any of those boxy or echoey frequencies. A lot you can do with parametric EQ. This, in my opinion, is the best kind of EQ to use inside Adobe Premiere Pro. It's also available in products like Adobe Audition. Uh, you can do great EQing there, but this is a basic way to... Uh, EQ dialogue or sound inside Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, do post them down below and I'll do my best to help.